as any viable currency, any viable money. Who will buy your silver? Who can buy your gold? It's been said many times. Anything is worth what anyone will pay. You can also say anything is worth what anyone can pay. If no one can buy it, what is its value? The gold standard does not exist. And there is a reason for that. If you had a gold standard, you'd have a solid economy. And you can only print the money in the value of the gold or silver. But without the gold and silver as an anchor to the economy, we're allowed to print without limit. devaluing money, devaluing currency, and in so devaluing gold and devaluing silver. Could you even buy a loaf of bread with a brick of gold? All the time and all the money invested for nothing. More chaos. Certainly more civil unrest. Food lines, food riots. Somebody has to step in and take control. And somebody has to step in to protect and provide. We've already said about a nanny state here. It will not be too much of a stretch to just step right into a complete surrender. to the ultimate nanny state that is the worldwide government, the worldwide economy and the beast who controls it all. There is another step to consider. This step may even be the key The very thing that facilitates all else. Because each one of these is connected in a certain way. The restrainer. The Holy Spirit. Who presently is holding all of this back who is presently preventing all of this from taking place is preventing restraining the Antichrist and his rise to power 
the Holy Spirit will be removed. Freeing up the beast to take his place. And more so, consider that when the Holy Spirit departs and those of us who believe and have the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit being a part of us, go with Him. The chaos, the destruction that follows. When the airplane pilot vanishes mid flight. Crashing his plane into the ocean, into a small town, into a high-rise building. Or the air traffic controller immediately, abruptly, vanishes. causing mid-air collisions because no one is there to guide the planes. The bus driver, the crane operator, highways and interstates and streets clogged because if even one driver goes missing, the chain reaction that follows, the massive car pileup that follows, and the fear when people are suddenly gone, that is frightening. That will scare you. Someone you're talking to, instantly not there. Would that not scare you? More economic collapse. More civil unrest. More reason for someone to come in and fix it. He will have, or will seem to have, all the answers, all the solutions. And each answer and solution to each problem is one step he will take in his rise to power. I pray that you, all of you, do not have to go through this that you turn to Jesus now and avoid this and spread the word that the time is getting close. We are waiting for the trumpet's call. And next time we will take a look at who the beast is. only given with what we got for information.
the study may even raise more questions. But there may be some things that you can look for because you probably won't know who he is until he's there. Lord, we thank you for your blessings. And we pray that you reach out and touch the souls and hearts of those that need you. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, once again, I would like to thank Spreaker. without whom I would not be able to do this. You can find me on Google+. Plus. You can find me on Twitter. You can find me on Facebook. You can find me on Tumblr and LinkedIn. And this episode may actually make it to iHeartRadio. I would... Thank God most assuredly for such a blessing. And God willing, I will speak to you again. I'm Roger Havens. And this has been Near Midnight.